We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Miami Marlins and the Atlanta Braves. So digging in now, Jonathan VR. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the one and one pitch. Hit down the third baseline. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. And the skies are clear, but that's not helping the temperature much. 45 degrees here at first pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Ready now for the Marlins. Miguel Rojas. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's gone three for 11. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Around first. He's digging for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Batting third. The left field, number 23. Corey Dickerson. To the plate now. Corey Dickerson. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. We're seeing a good A-B here from the three-hole hitter. If he can work a walk or pick up a hit here, he's going to put that cleanup guy in a really good position to do some damage in this first inning. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Corey Dickerson goes down for out number two in the top half. Line drive base hit into the left center field gap. The run comes across to score, and they jump ahead 1-0. Stepping in now, Jorge Alfaro takes this the other way to right. Markinkis is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. Taken, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. What an amazing A.B. right here, and what a message it sends to your entire lineup. This guy knows out on the mound he's going to have to battle today. Another full count offering on its way. I know the fans love the souvenirs, but the battle between the pitcher and batter right here is what makes the game great. And he fouls this one off. He'll try it again, three and two. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And there's one gone to start the night. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Nick Markakis. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Fouled off. Bases are empty. One man out. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off. And it's back to even at two and two. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Harrison is there, two gone. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. Two out, nobody on. Hard sinker misses, two and two. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Ronald Acuna would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Anderson over to his right. 
Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. At the plate, Harold Ramirez looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. The 1-1 home. Swung on and missed for strike number two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Grounded back up the middle. Albies picks it up. And the off-balance throw beats him at first. And that's a tough play. So one away here with the bases empty. And that will bring up the outfielder, Brian Anderson. The 1-1. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Up next from Miami, Monte Harrison. Anderson stands at first with one out. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Marlins, Sandy Alcantara. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. To two balls and two strikes now. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two-thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line in right. And Markakis will make the catch, and the side is retired. Atlanta number four hitter Ronald Acuna and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year one and two as he chases the slider inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes this is hit high in the air out toward left center Harrison is under it to make the play on the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. Now the one and one pitch. Wow, not sure what they're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. The one, two. He is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. The next to bat for Atlanta, Tyler Flowers. And he has not gotten off to the start he had hoped for with the bat. It's been a real struggle for him out of the gate. Hit hard toward second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. This will kick up against the wall now. Standing in now, Charlie Culberson. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Not quick enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Out of the stretch, the three-two home. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Right to him. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Sean Newcomb is going to come on to pitch here, and in just the third inning, you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. So it's back to the top of the order now, and the switch hitter Jonathan VR will be the next to bat. Payoff pitch home. And he lays off there. Ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Now batting. Coming to the plate now, Miguel Rojas. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. 
Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. And he'll get back in standing. Runner at first here, one man out. And it's one and two. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Line to the right side, but that's a foul ball. The one two is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Runners on first with one down. And here's a changeup in there for a called third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Jesus Aguilar, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guys on the mound have been executing every pitch. He's looking pretty passive here, hitting with a chance to drive it a run. Going to have to make something happen with two strikes now. A runner on first with two away. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Austin Riley, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Ball and two strikes now. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball away, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Stepping in for the Braves, Sean Newcomb. No pitcher. Now the one and one pitch. It is a sinker that misses for a ball. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Back to the top of the order now. Okay. That will bring up Ozzie Albee. Bases Albee. are empty here with two men out. Albee. And that's high and off the plate. Two and one. You got two balls, one strike. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Throw over to Aguilar at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. set for the start of the inning stepping into the box Jorge Alfaro hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat yeah Matty but as he walks to the plate right here he feels good building off that last AB he hit that ball on the screws call didn't go his way on two and one but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch you have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat and now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double into the box Harold Ramirez Acuna is there for it one out and the runner not tagging will retreat to second base now that so a runner aboard at second here with one away and that'll bring up the outfielder Brian Anderson as a look now the pitch one run on three hits and no errors in the game for the Marlins had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here he comes again, one, two. Lined, but speared on a hop. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. 
So that will bring in Monty Harrison next. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Count is one and two now. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Now at the plate, Nick Markakis. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 3-2 pitch. And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he popped him up. Rojas ranging into the outfield. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. At the plate, Ronald Acuna. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Now that. So striding in, Marcelo Zuna, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Here now is the catcher, Tyler Flowers, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. 3-2 with the bases loaded. And this is swung on and missed. Oh, a huge punch out there as the bases remain loaded with two away now. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Sandy Alcantara. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A ball and two strikes to the Marlins pitcher. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Hit on the ground to third. He's got it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Back to the top of the Miami lineup now and stepping in, Jonathan VR. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Ozuna looks up into the second deck and gone. the plate now Miguel Rojas fly ball out toward left center field Acuna is there for it two down digging in once again Corey Dickerson it was a backwards K a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat yeah Matty and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got a bear down he gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play couple strikeouts early in the game but he's done a much better job in this at bat trying to get ahead and put himself at a good hitters count throw in the dirt but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired stepping up to the plate Austin Riley looking to put the ball in play here he went down on strikes in his first at bat from the windup the 1 1 pitch I got two on the count. He stays alive, still two and two. Heading out towards shallow right. 
Ramirez has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Ender Inciarte will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Hitting for the Braves. Number 11, Ender Inciarte. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. The three and one pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now the three and two pitch. This is on the ground over to first. He's right there, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So the lineup flips over and digging in Ozzy Albies, last year's recipient of the Silver Slugger Award for NL second baseman. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Josh Rader takes over here with the runner at first and two gone in the inning. Nick Markakis will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with the runner at first and two away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In there. Now the throw. He is not in time. Pretty close, but he got in there safely. The 1-2. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Alfaro recovers. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Mark Melanson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 36. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Striding in once again, Jesus Aguilar. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Maddie, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Again, he sends it out of play. One and two, here it comes. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Digging in and looking for more, Jorge Alfaro. He doubled his last time through. One out, nobody on. Two two pitches fouled away. Lifted down the line and left. On the move is Ozuna, but he won't get there. It falls in. Now batting, right fielder, Harold Ramirez. At the plate, Harold Ramirez. Hold strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Swing and a miss. Looked like the knuckle curved there, and that's out number two. Digging in, Brian Anderson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. The 1 1 home is a fastball whiffed on for a strike. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for the Marlins. Again, another foul ball. The one-two. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Freddie Freeman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 
Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. Now batter. In now, Ronald Acuna. It was a walk in his last trip. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. Here comes the payoff pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. The left fielder, number three. So now to the plate, Marcelo Zuna lifted in the air out towards left center. Dickerson on the move. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. Throw won't get him. So a runner stands at third. One man is out. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. 1-1. It's taken for strike two. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Looking for the K. Here's the pitch. And he struck him out. And wouldn't this be something if he could work out of this with that one run lead still in check? So a runner at third, two men are out, and that'll bring in the Georgia native, Charlie Culberson. Fouled away. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Ball four. Ready for another chance? Austin Riley. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Shane Green will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Adam Duvall is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 23, Adam Duvall. The one-two. Hit to short. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Garrett Cooper will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Garrett Cooper. Pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably get that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. And he popped him up. Albies into shallow center. He can't get to it. This one's down. The throw into second. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, Jonathan Villar. He's one for two in this one. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. And that's on the outside corner, one and two. Ah, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. Another 2 2 offering. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full 3 and 2. 
Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. A payoff pitch one more time. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. At the plate, Miguel Rojas. He's working on a one for three thus far. Ready with the one and two. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Acuna will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Jimmy Garcia gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 93. Stepping in, Adam Duvall. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Fastball well outside. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential time run here is aboard late in the game. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Fastball called. Strike three. And there's the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away. And standing in the powerful right fielder, Nick Markakis. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Harrison moving back on it. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Freddie Freeman will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. 1-1. Line drive, base hit to right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Into the box now, Ronald Acuna. A high, two and one now. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Leap at the wall, but he can't bring this one back. It's a home run. Stepping in now, Marcelo Zuna. Three balls and a strike to the Braves' left fielder. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Three runs already home here. Here's the two-seam fastball that bears in a bit too tight. It's ball four. Sterling Sharp takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Tyler Flowers will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. A 1-1. Two out with the man at first. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. The next 3-2. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. 3-2. and two. Another full count pitch home. Another one sent foul. Popped him up. Aguilar 
will put this one away and the side is retired. Darren O'Day is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Travis Darno is also into the ball game as he'll hit in the number eight spot here. Now catching and batting eight. Number 16, Travis Darno. And there's ball two now. Even now, two and two. And now, pitch on the way. Hit out towards second. Albies scoops it up. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jesus Aguilar. He was a ground out victim last time up. There's ball two as the slider dips below the zone. In there, and it's even now, two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. Up next for the Marlins. So two gone the now in the Miami eighth. Jorge. And up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Harold Ramirez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 3 2 one more time down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. This one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Drew Steckenrider is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 71. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So striding forward now, Charlie Culberson. It was a walk in his last trip. A uh, good break to that thing, and it's one and two. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. The uh, two-two is a fastball that misses. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. The 1-1 takes a pass and misses. That strike two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Ramirez is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Digging in, Adam Duvall. Third baseman, Adam Duvall. little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate and it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning and a fastball called strike three and the side is retired Will Smith 
takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 51. New inning set to get underway. Ready once again, Harold Ramirez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. Two balls and a strike now. The 2-1. Two balls. Two Looped out toward third. And this will be no problem over the third. And there's the first out. Standing in, Ryan Anderson. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now back. Into the box now, Monte Harrison. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. The 2 1 pitch. Liner towards second, and that is in there for a two out base knock. John Birdie will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number five, John Birdie. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate in a one-run game. He doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Line hard to center field. Acuna is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Hey, how about that play to end this thing? That's what you call the icing on the cake. Cherry on top of the Sunday! Exclamation point. I love it. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Braves earn the victory despite only collecting four total hits. Shane Green claims the win out of the pen, his first. Will Smith earns the save out of the bullpen, his third of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Atlanta Braves, four runs on four hits, one error, and they left eight runners on base. For the Marlins, two runs, six hits, no error, they left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 49 minutes. Tonight's paid attention at Truist Park, 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support. And remind you to please drive home safely.